Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play the Colonel's Bequest. Last time we were following Clarence and Wilbur to listen in on the conversation and they didn't appreciate it very much. However, now that they are in the dining room, we can spy on them. Let's do so. I guess Wilbur's got some kind of conscience. One hundred thousand dollars. That is a lot of money, especially for 1925. So that's what they're, uh, that's why everyone's saying they've been untrustworthy. Looks like, uh, they got into that together and it didn't work out so well. Uh oh, he said a swear word. I know if you say something, the uh, colonel might disinherit you. That wouldn't be good. So yeah, we figured out uh, a little bit more about why people were so suspicious of the both of them. So, uh, anyways. I wonder if there's anything useful over here. Let's get going. They are still in there? Nope, they're gone. How many fireplaces does this place have? Hmm. Um, you could say that. What I really want to do... Let's go out here. We're outside the kitchen. And this is where Beauregard sleeps. Hey, puppy. Aww. Let's look in the doghouse. Okay. There. <laughs> well, that didn't help much, so, uh, what we want to do. Remember that soup bone we got? But we gotta go for it, man. That is one skinny dog. Now let's try that again. Ooh. Looks like we got ourselves a necklace. But whose is it? Let's look at the dog again. Aw, oh, isn't that sweet? And I wanna see what's in here. Alright, and we finally see... <gasps> it's Jeeves and he's dead. Nah, he's sleeping. So yeah, we finally get some time alone with him and he's asleep. So, uh, let's see what the manual has to say about him. Jeeves is the colonel's tall, silent butler. Very imposing and solemn, he's not terribly friendly or helpful. What is he really after? And that's all I have to say. Not even the manual knows much about him. Hmm. Only talks in monosyllables. You wonder about him. Yes, yes I do. Let's look at him again. See if we can talk to him. You probably won't appreciate that. <laughs> Alright, sorry if I went through that fast. He wasn't saying anything important. He was just pissed at us. However, let's... Take a look at this box of crackers. Let's steal them. 
<laughs> so we come down here, invade his personal space, disturb his sleep, and then ask for his food. Probably just probably just gave it to us to get rid of us. So let's see. Let's, uh... Actually, do you want... Oh, did you see that it was saying your friend must be hungry? She keeps coming in here. <laughs> Actually, you want to head into the store. Southeast corner of the mansion. Let's head into the bar. Oh, my. So, as you can see, Ethel's getting a bit plastered here. Let's look again at that decanter. Let's look at the glass. A very strong alcoholic drink. What else is new? And here's something we want to do. Now that we have those crackers, every time we get into a new act, you're going to want to feed a cracker to Polly. Just one per act. On here, as you can see, he uh, listens to conversations and he repeats important bits of them. Of course, we uh, already knew about that racehorse scam, but just in case you didn't, there it is. Let's uh, talk to Ethel. Oh well, shoot. All right, so let's head upstairs. And the one room we haven't been in up here yet is uh, this room right here, so uh, let's go snooping. This is the R Rudy and Clarence's room, and uh, what's Fifi doing up here with Rudy? Ooh. That didn't work out too well for you, did it? Let's see if we can't kiss him. <laughs> Too bad. And let's uh, look at his glass. I think it's bourbon. Alright. And we're going to want to, once more, have a full conversation with him. I know we already did it, but he's actually going to be a bit more open with us this time around, so... <laughs> She's my buddy. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of uh, solving a murder here. <laughs> You're a horny dude, aren't you? Man, you and Will were both. Okay, okay. So now we can once more ask him about people since he seems to be uh, a bit more open. Why so? Yeah, I'm starting to agree with that one. But he'll soon come around? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, too late for that. <laughs> well, you're not any better, are you? see that for sure. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you'd like to have her pegged, wouldn't you? Zing. Alright, sorry. Oh, well, you'd be sorely mistaken. You don't know where she is right now. Yeah, he does. Why is he so quiet? Uh, 
not sure she's all there. I don't know what you mean. Um, I'll shoot. Yeah, I'm starting to uh, not like this place very much either. Well, there's not much to him. He's a dog. Oh, don't tell me you're involved in that scam, too. Somehow I don't think so, but you are into gambling, aren't you? But she won't get away with it. What are you planning? And I saw you getting sweet on her earlier, so... Well... Maybe he's jealous. She has one of her rages. That's unsettling. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, uh, you make a good point there, Rudy. It seems like, uh, everyone sees there's something wrong going on going on between the two of them except for the colonel himself or maybe he does know who knows um well about that let's uh tell him Well, she's, she's not out there anymore, bro, but... Oh, fine, go look for yourself. You're probably gonna... Say you don't believe me. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Alright, so... Let's do some more snooping. Alright, back down here with the clock. There's a couple people we want to spy on. Alright, so uh, let's look through this one first. And uh, if you're playing along, you want to do it in this order, because uh, if you do it in another order, you might lose the chance to uh, get some more information. Alright, so we see Wilbur in there. Doctor is alone reading a magazine. He's at that magazine again. Oh, well, we couldn't do anything there, so let's just talk to him. Uh. Are you just going to say the same things as before? Yeah, you are, but we do want to have another conversation with him as well. So, if I can, there we go. Well, that's pretty cool. That's uh, quite a tile to have. Yeah, I see you defending him. If he's not so sick, then why is he uh, already have his will written, and why is he already very, already declaring it to everybody? That is suspicious. I'm telling you. Hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Well, you're not going to get another chance, are you? What? What did you help her with? What was that problem she had?
much that I like you. I'm very protective of Uncle Henry. I don't know, maybe because you've been, uh, embezzling his uncle's money? I don't know. <laughs> Is that all you think about? Man, the guys in this game. Ask him some more about the bag. Okay. Yeah, after you've been killed a few times, it ain't so bad. Oh, we can see that all right. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that firsthand, so that's good for her. <laughs> Yeah, me either. Oh, it's good to be uh, tied to your family. I mean, not too much, I guess. Clarence doesn't like Gertie. And, well, Gertie's dead. That's unfortunate. So, uh, let's go back in here and spy on someone else. Ooh, and we're in Act 3. It is now 9 o'clock, and uh, we're going to see what's happening between them. I think Gloria was planning to end it with him. Wait at least until the guys were gonna leave because you're still stuck in this house together. You didn't even wait. For, uh, I'm starting to like Lori a little bit less. She seems a bit uh, manipulative. We've got gold diggers galore in this, don't we? First the whole snafu with the racehorse thing, and now this, and... But what the... Ah, uh, something is not right here. What happened here? Well, you're just gonna have to find out next time on... Ooh, look at the background. On, let's play the Colonel's Bequest. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.